Know your worth. A parable about how much you are worth. One day, a young man came to a gray-haired old man and said, I've come to you because I feel so miserable and worthless that I don't even want to live. Everyone around keeps telling me that I'm a loser, a slob, an idiot. Please help me. The elder glanced at the young man and hurriedly answered, I'm sorry, but I'm very busy right now, I can't help you. I need to urgently deal with a very urgent matter. After thinking a little, he added, But if you agree to help me in my business, I'll be glad to help you with yours. With pleasure, he muttered, noting bitterly, that he was once again being pushed to the sidelines. All right, said the old man, and withdrew from his left pinky finger. A small ring with a beautiful stone on his left little finger. Take your horse and ride to the market square. I urgently need to sell this ring to pay off the debt. Try to sell it at a higher price and under no circumstances. Do not settle for less than a gold coin. Ride on and come back as soon as possible. The young man took the ring and rode away. When he arrived at the market square, he began to offer the ring to the traders. Dot and at first they looked at the merchandise with interest. But as soon as they heard about the value of a gold coin, they immediately lost all interest in the ring. Some laughed openly in his face. Others simply looked away. Only one elderly merchant kindly explained to him that a gold coin was too high a price for such a ring. The only thing he could get for it was a copper coin, but at most a silver one. The young man was very upset when he heard the old man's words. Because he remembered the old man's orders, never lower the price than a gold coin. After going around the market, and offered the ring to a good hundred people. The young man saddled his horse again and rode back. He was very saddened by the failure and went to the old man. Master, I have not been able to carry out my commission. Sadly he said, at best, I could have obtained for the ring. A few silver coins, but you didn't tell me to settle for less than gold. And that's not what the ring's worth. You have just said some important words, my son. The old man said, before you try to sell it, it's a good idea to establish its true value. But who better to do that, than a true expert in jewels, a jeweler. Go to the jeweler and ask him, how much he'll offer us for the ring. The young man mounted his horse again and went to the jeweler. The jeweler looked at the ring through a magnifying glass for a long time. Then weighed it on a small scale. And at last he turned to the young man. Tell the master, I can't give you more than 58 gold coins for it right now. But if he will give me time, I will buy the ring for 70 coins. 70 coins. The young man laughed happily, thanked the jeweler and rushed back at full gallop. Sit down here, said the old man, after listening to the young man's lively story. And know this, my son, that you are this very ring, precious and unique, and only a true expert can judge you. So why do you go around the bazaar, expecting the first person to do it? The value of life is determined by how much you value yourself. Paradoxically, when you realize your true nature, life begins to shine like an unearthly treasure. Check out our other motivational videos. Subscribe to the channel, My Inspiration, in order not to miss new episodes and become wiser with us. Thanks for watching. See you later.